thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is the fifth Tuesday after Pentecost. Let us pray. O Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name. For you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Luke the 21st chapter, beginning at the 37th verse. Every day Jesus was teaching in the temple, and at night he would go out and spend the night at, on the Mount of Olives, as it was called, and all the people would get up early in the morning to listen to him in the temple. Now the festival of unleavened bread, which is called the Passover, was near. The chief priest and the scribes were looking for a way to put Jesus to death, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, called Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. He went away and conferred with the chief priests and officers of the temple police about how he might betray him to them. They were greatly pleased and agreed to give him money. So he consented and began to look for an opportunity to betray him to them when no crowd was present. Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover meal for us, that we may eat it. They asked him, Where do you want us to make preparation for it? Listen, he said to them, When you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house he enters, and say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks you, where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs already furnished. Make preparations for us there. So they went and found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. Here ends the lesson. Today's reading once again gives us a contrast between those who were able to learn from Jesus and those who were either unwilling or unable to learn from him and accept his teachings. For those who could hear, his teachings were opening people's hearts and minds to learn about the coming of God's kingdom in ways they had previously not been able to hear or understand. Jesus would go off at night to sleep on the Mount of Olives and then begin the next day by returning to the temple in Jerusalem to continue his teaching to hear his word and to grow in their knowledge of the Lord and the ways of God, many would get up very early in the morning so they could be present to hear his teachings. Now, in contrast to this group, there were also the religious leaders and others who were committed to reject rejecting Jesus and bringing about his downfall. This group was so committed to finding a way to kill Jesus that they were willing to bribe Judas Iscariot, one of his twelve, and one of Jesus' close followers, in order that he could betray him and have him arrested. And yet look at the faithfulness and singular focus of Jesus to fulfill the Father's will in the midst of this conspiracy. And Jesus did not hide. He did not allow himself to be distracted or to deter him from doing what he knew he must do. His focus was on preparing for the all-important last meal, the Passover meal he would share with his disciples before the crucifixion, allowing him to bring to completion all he had come to do. In the midst of all this, the scriptures tell us that Satan entered into Judas Iscariot. We know the evil one is always at work, which should serve as a constant reminder to us that we too must keep our focus on being faithful to the Father's will no matter what. As the Apostle Paul says in the 10th chapter of his letter to the Romans, we need to confess with our lips that Jesus is Lord 
and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead so that we too may be saved, no matter what the powers and principalities of this day may bring. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in Christ you have revealed your glory among the nations. Preserve the works of your mercy, that your church throughout the world may persevere with steadfast faith in the confession of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, please join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoon or 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel and check out our webpage for all in-person and virtual offerings.